During the past year, I've made three videos which cover frequency hopping spread spectrum technology. It's a really interesting form of radio communications which seems quite complex and cutting edge, but is in fact many decades old and nothing new at all. Legend has it that film actress Hedy Lamarr approached composer, author and inventor George Antile for endocrinological advice, but the two soon began chatting about weapons, particularly radio-controlled torpedoes and how to protect them from jamming or interference. They came upon the idea that a constantly changing frequency is much harder to jam and this became the basis for their design for a torpedo guidance system. Lamar contributed the idea of frequency hopping while Antile drew on his experience with ballet mechanique and the 16 player pianos to devise a means of synchronising the rapidly changing radio frequencies envisaged by Lamar. Their joint invention used a mechanism similar to piano player roles to synchronise the changes between 88 frequencies. Not coincidentally, as this is also the standard number of piano keys. And they called for a high altitude observation plane to steer a radio controlled torpedo from above. They submitted their patent on June 10th, 1941 and the patent was granted on August 11th, 1942. Lamar was listed under Hedy Keisler Markey, her married name at the time. Now, it wasn't an entirely new concept, however. Nikola Tesla alluded to frequency hopping in 1900 and 1903 patents. A similar patent for a secrecy communication system was granted in 1920, with additional patents granted in 1939 and 1940 to two German engineers. And evidence later came to light in the 1980s that during World War II, the US Army Signals Corps worked on a communication system that used the spread spectrum concept as well. So that is a very basic history on the concept's origin. But over previous videos that I've made, I've had many comments from viewers and on social media confusing the standard with trunking, encryption and scrambling. Now, this is not the case. The system may offer certain advantages of these other modes, but it is not the same at all. So let me explain in simple terms what the modes of frequency hopping spread spectrum I've covered actually involved. We looked first at IDEN or direct talk from Motorola. IDEN stands for Integrated Digital Enhanced Network. This feature goes by different names on IDEN service providers. In the US, Nextel called it Direct Talk and included it as a free service on most new models of Motorola handsets. The standard uses frequency hopping spread spectrum technology rather than single fixed frequencies for each channel. There are 10 channels or hop sets available and 15 privacy codes per channel. Frequency hopping spread spectrum is a spread spectrum modulation technique in which the signal is emitted over a series of pseudo random frequencies, jumping from frequency to frequency synchronously with the transmitter. Unauthorized receivers will only hear an unintelligible signal. So I've drawn up a simplified diagram here. You can see five frequencies, so we're looking at it on a much smaller scale. When you push the PTT on a standard fixed frequency radio, it transmits on that frequency and the receiving radio picks up that transmission if it's on the same frequency. With frequency hopping radios, you press the PTT and the radio begins to transmit. The receiving radio also picks up that signal, but then the transmit radio changes frequency again. On a conventional radio, the receiving radio would then pick nothing up, but because it's a frequency hopping radio, it changes to the same frequency as the transmit radio instantly. This then continues for the duration of the transmission, meaning that little pieces of the signal are being transmitted on pseudo random consecutive frequencies. Both radios are changing to these frequencies simultaneously, meaning there's no break in transmission and you would think you were talking on a conventional fixed frequency radio. Now, there are different standards used alongside frequency hopping technology. IDEN uses digital time division multiple access, similar to DMR. After the IDEN video, I then made a video about TriSquare, an analog system that uses frequency hopping technology as well. 
Although it is analog, it's quite a bit more impressive than IDEN. The standard is quite amazing in that the radios hop on 50 actual frequencies from a pool of 700. This gives users 10 billion unique frequency hopping pattern combinations or channels for want of a better word. Due to the extremely high number of these available channels, users are unlikely to encounter others on the same channel, and interference is unlikely unless the source knows the channel number being used. Depending on which 10 digit channel code is chosen, an embedded pseudo random number generator algorithm selects a different set of 50 frequencies to hop and cycle through every 50 seconds. Each 400 millisecond hop frame contains both voice and data. Since each radio knows, based on the channel selection, what the hopping frequencies are, as well as their order, the receiving radio only needs to know when to start hopping to remain synchronised. IDEN is the same system as used with Motorola's DTR series radios, which is the most recent frequency hopping video I did, and that is the one that attracted the most misunderstanding among some people which I hope I've cleared up today. So if you want to watch the videos I've discussed then you can find them at the end of this video or in the description below.